Hey guys, it's Tropical Pancakes. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a very highly requested slime review of Slime Yoda on Instagram. But before we get on into this video, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, turn on post notifications, like this video, and then comment down below hashtag Pancake Squad if you want the chance to receive a shout out in my next week's video, just like these amazing people. Thank you so much for all of your endless love and support on my channel. And now let's just get on into this highly highly requested review so for a long time now you guys have been wanting me to check out slime yoda's really really thick slimes and by the way it is slime yoda i made sure before i made this video that it was slime yoda and not slimy oda like a lot of people seem to misunderstand but she does clarify in her bio that it is slime e yoda not slime wait hold on it's Slime Yoda, not Slimy Oda. Her name is not Oda, and she wasn't like trying to be all cute with an Instagram name. But moving on from that, this is a package that you guys really have been wanting to see for a while now. So I hope you are just as excited as I was to see what's in this package, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So, yeah. This is what I saw when I opened up this package. She put a little air wrap thing which was actually very minimalistic like she didn't wrap them in any bubble wrap or anything but they seem to arrive very safely so i'm pretty sure she knows what she's doing this is her little goodie bag and then we have her business card that we will look at again later and see what that is like and also i know this is like a little random but i love the way that she packaged the slimes into the box because you get really get to admire all of the slimes that I purchased and the colors just really go well with each other. And yeah, it just made it look really, really nice and professional, so yeah. This is the infamous goodie bag that you get with almost every slime shop you order from. It had a really pretty gold sticker that said thank you holding it together, which I really appreciated. It just added a little extra touch to the goodie bag. And she gave me some Skittles, which I definitely did not eat right after I recorded the video. I don't know what you're talking about. She gave me some Borax, which was in a cute little baggie. And it has a sticker on it clarifying how much to add if you don't know. And some iridescent glitters. I'm pretty sure they're iridescent. If they're not, I'm sorry. And a heart eye emoji sticker. This is her business card and I actually really like this but it's kind of hard to get really creative with business cards nowadays for slime shops because so many people have them and I got some even more merch you guys I'm so happy and a another piece of merch I guess this is her pin and it's really adorable and on the back of her bracelet it said got thickies so I mean I love that this is the first slime that I ordered, and this is Yoda Sweetest Gloss, 8 ounces for $11.50. I love the play on words in the title, like, you know, you're the sweetest gloss, Yoda Sweetest Gloss. I'm pretty sure that's what she was going for. If not, that's kind of awkward, but I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. But this is one of her thick slimes. All of the slimes I ordered are basic white glue thick slime because I really just wanted to dive into what everyone obsesses over with her thick slimes and I wanted to see you know what all the hype is about and we are going to see together you guys so whenever you let it spread out it really does get thin which at first I was like whoa is this as thick as it claims to be but actually this was a very very thick slime um, even after it arrived in the mail, kind of melted, which was kind of weird because it's a little cold where I live, so not sure about that, but maybe she was just trying to be smart and she was like, you know, this is going to end up in a place that's kind of cold, so I'm going to underactivate it, which is probably what she did now that I think about it. But I was very, very happy with this and I was even more happy with it after I added some activator. And I did use her recipe so I didn't mess it up and it ended up turning out really well. The other two slimes were not as, I guess, melted. Even though this wasn't melted, it was just like a little runny compared to what it is advertised as. 
but I was very happy with it. It had a nice sweet scent that wasn't, you know, like something specific. It wasn't like a cupcake or a donut or anything. It was just a nice sweet scent. The color was a pretty lilac color. It obviously lost a little bit of its gloss whenever I activated it, so that's why it's not as glossy as it was in the first little like uh, clip you saw where it was all spread out. But it was extremely glossy when it came right out of the container, and as I am speaking right now, I am looking at the slime, and it is even more glossy than when it arrived, so the name of this slime is very fitting. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing her merch because I'm representing, you know, Slime Yoda when I'm making this video, so it only made sense that I would wear her merch. Overall, this slime was super stretchy and thick and nice and glossy, and it smelled really good. And honestly, if you're looking for a nice slime to buy from her shop and you want something reliable and something you won't be disappointed with, this is a slime that I would for sure recommend. So the second slime that I ordered from Slime Yoda was the Blue Raspberry Gloss Slime, 8 ounces and $10.50 and I forgot to mention this with the last one but she does put labels on the bottom and she makes them really cute with a little picture and it's a very simple label but it gets the job done so yeah she does include labels just to let you know if you were wondering. But as you can see right out of the container it was super glossy which again makes it appropriate to add gloss to the title of this one and the color was super vibrant and beautiful this is my favorite color at the moment it's like a electric teal kind of color is that even a color i don't know but um it was super nice and i guess since this was my favorite color it kind of makes me a little biased to say that this is my favorite slime of the three that i ordered and also it smelled like blue raspberry it was like pretty spot on so i guess that also gives it a little like you know edge compared to the other slimes um i was really really happy with this one it was a very well done slime and i would again recommend this if you're considering buying from her because it also gave great drizzles and swirls and I honestly couldn't give you one bad thing about this slime. And the third and final slime that I ordered from Slime Yoda was the Juicy Fruit Gloss Slime, 8 ounces, and this one was $11. Um, I could not resist ordering this one because I love Juicy Fruit gum. I always have. When I was a kid, I used to stuff my face with a bunch of Juicy Fruit gums at once, and it was the best thing ever. And actually, speaking of that, playing with this slime just made me feel like I was playing with a giant wad of chewed up juicy fruit gum and I know as disgusting as that may sound like just imagine it okay like you are a child I don't know if I'm pretty sure you guys did that when you were kids or if you are a kid right now and you probably do this if not then you should give it a shot don't tell your parents I told you to but if you just take a like maybe three or four pieces of juicy fruit gum put it in your mouth and just like chew it to the point where like your jaw starts to hurt this is what playing with the slime felt like like if you took it out of your mouth and you played with it oh my god that, that's kind of gross okay never mind scratch that from your memory act like i did not even say that this was a really nice slime it was exactly like the other two thick glossy slimes except it smelled like juicy fruit and it was a pale yellow slime 
and it looked, I'm pretty sure that's the color of juicy fruit, but to make sure, we're gonna go on another Google search adventure, shall we guys? Let's, let's go. All right, fellas, let's see. Um, okay, it looks like we're doing pretty good. That is pretty much the color of the slime. And yeah, I think, I think we're good. But now that we're back to the real deal, I kind of got sidetracked there as I always do. But this slime was incredible. It was super thick and glossy. And now that I've reviewed all three of these slimes, I can honestly say that the hype on all of her slimes is worth it. It's true. Um, she's not like overrated or anything. And I'm very glad because it would have been a little awkward to be on here and say like, Ooh, like these slimes were not that thick girl like sorry to bring you down or anything but I can say that these were super thick and she was very smart with the way she packaged and everything and everything just was really nice and overall the whole experience from slime Yoda's slime shop was incredible and I definitely recommend So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, um, do all that. Participate in my polls because I'm always doing something fun up there. Um, it's in the iCard. Just click on it if you want to. And yeah, I really hope you guys had some fun with me today and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.